Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, it is uh, pretty dark out here, but guess what? We're getting ready to get out of here. That's right. Are you guys ready to come ride along with the Trucker Rudy show this morning? Well, if you are, let's fasten your seatbelt and let's get our day started. <laughs> crossing the border into North Dakota ladies and gentlemen yes indeed you got us another 266 miles to go to our delivery so it says we should be there uh, entering North Dakota right around 12 o'clock well, that's awesome that means I'll be home this afternoon if they give me a load home from there Mind you, that's only an hour and 45 minutes drive from there to go home anyway, so it ain't like it's a super long uh, drive from there anyway, so uh, so yeah, this is part of North Dakota for you guys, and uh, I got me a request from Germany, yeah, Tim V is his username, and uh, he requested, or she, whatever, yeah, I believe it's a he. And they requested for me to speak a few words in German. They said they would be honored if I could say a few words in German. So we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> I hope you guys can uh, not mind that too much if I say a few words in German. We do have uh, different fans out here from around the world. And... Uh, since I was born in Bolivia and grew up uh, being a uh, speaking low German, my family was low German, and in school we had high German, so, and on the street uh, we had uh, Spanish, so my Spanish ain't very good, but low German is still very good, high German not so much. I, I can communicate in high German, but some of the higher end words would be kind of difficult for me, but. Anyways, uh, let's give it a shot, right? Ich wollte mich sehr bedanken bei Ihnen, dass Sie mir gekontaktet hatten und gefragt nach etliche Worten zu sagen in Deutsch. Ich hoffe, dass Sie mich verstehen kann. Aber ja, wir bedanken uns, dass wir haben Leuten von Deutschland, die da auch uns angucken. Und hey, wenn du deine Freunde sagen kannst. Die hoffentlich die können auch ein bisschen Englisch äh, lernen von, von uns. Und das würde uns sehr freuen, wenn du deine Freunde und Familie äh, das auch In erzählen kannst von meinem äh, Kanal. Und äh, ja, wir bedanken uns äh, sehr bei Ihnen, dass Sie uns äh, unseren Channel angucken. Und äh, ja, anyways, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little speech. <lacht> I always get nervous when I have to do it in German because, you know, I'm so used to speaking English and then, uh, you know, when somebody requests me to say a few words in high German, I get nervous for some odd reason. I don't know why. I'm, I'm scared I'm going to say something wrong, you know, but yeah, anyways, uh, here we are, taking I-29 northbound, hammered down towards the border. I think we got about two and a half, two and three quarter hours to the border. Welcome to Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we have now officially made it back into Manitoba. Oh, that's right, and I got the hiccups. That kind of sucks, but hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, it's been a gorgeous day this, this day. Beautiful sunshine, not too windy. I'm doing great on fuel mileage. I'm a happy camper. <clears throat> the reason why I'm in the left lane is this guy beside me here. He uh, came off the Ramter from the scale, and the scale was closed when I come by it. So, so uh, now he's going faster than me, so I couldn't get back into the right lane. 
soon as he passes me though, we'll get back into the right lane. <coughs> but yeah, here we are, back in Canada. Home sweet home, as they like to say. Not too close to home yet though, because I got another 100 miles to go yet to my delivery up in Portage La Prairie. And then after that, we don't know yet if they'll uh, give me a load from there to bring to Steinbach or what they're gonna do with me, I don't know. I don't know that for sure yet, but we'll see. Only time will tell, right? All right, we are back on Highway 1. Yes, indeed. Uh, we decided to go on the back roads there like we did earlier. Or earlier like two days ago when we picked up here we went the back roads here towards uh, Winkler and then uh, go up down the highway 14 towards the border so that's exactly how we backtracked over here so now we're finally back on highway 1 again so uh, we only got us about uh, 10 more minutes to go and we'll be at our uh, delivery place yeah that makes me happy Starting to get a little cloudy now. I hope I won't get rained in over here, but yeah. The other hope, the other thing that I'm hoping for is that they'll give me a, a reload out of here pretty quick, so that way I don't have to wait here for very long. But we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll just send me back empty to Winnipeg or something. You never know. Might give me something out of Winnipeg always a possibility that's right you never know you never know what they're going to give you but hey let's go make our delivery and uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens from there looks like they are still working on this road a little bit here too so little bit of road construction going on this is it guys we are now in Steinbach Manitoba home sweet home just around the corner is our terminal in we'll go drop meters, this in turn right on Main Street Highway 52 oh, and then turn right on 220 home. meters yeah that's right I don't know this week I just don't really feel like driving either <laughs> I don't know why, but just for some odd reason, I don't feel like driving too much this week. I guess I've been working too hard for the last two weeks. In 200 meters, turn right on Low Wind Boulevard East. All right, and RJ. Approaching destination on the right side. I think side. I kind of know meters. where I'm going by now. I think I've been going down this road for so many years now. I would almost think I know where I'm going, right? <laughs> But yeah, I always set my GPS off no matter what. I just like to, uh, you know, like to know how far it is and what time I'm gonna get there and all that good stuff. So that's the reason why I set it up. Also shows me better on the speed limit and all that good stuff then too, you know. Approaching destination in 100 meters on the right side. On the right side? No, it's on the left side, RJ. You got that confused. You have arrived at your destination right. on the right side, 21. Oh, look at here. Low Wind Boulevard East. Lucky me, a guy opened up the gate for me. That's right, here we are pulling into the yard. This is home sweet home, guys. This is our home terminal. This is where everything started with Penner International. Yep, they've been around for a long time. I think they celebrated 90 years here. Last year or the year before or something like that. They celebrated 90 years of business. Can you believe that? That is many, many years. But anyways, let's go find us a spot and then we'll drop our empty and uh, go home, I guess. Alrighty, guys. We have finally made it home. Yes, indeed we have. It was only a short trip this week, but hey, we are home sweet home. So I appreciate you guys all tuning in on today's show. So don't go nowhere, we'll be back tomorrow. Have a good one. It's time to get
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come 